as a developer we spend a lot of time managing assets uh, like creating references to the assets and then using it in our application however we have a great way that we can use in our flutter application and which is i'm going to discuss in this video it will handle for you all the assets related thing with 100 percent efficiency and it will also help you to avoid the boilerplate code hi friends i'm maz Aftab from easy approach and first of all happy new year i hope that this year would go great for you and you produce a lot of uh, production quality code with no bugs at all i hope and i'm quite uh, excited because this is gonna be my first video in this 2022 and this this is gonna be a short video but quite uh, important and essential because uh, it will help you to manage the assets like a pro because normally we spend a lot of time managing assets but I'm gonna discuss uh, a solution with you uh, which will really uh, save a lot of time for you as our application grows managing assets becomes so time taken and kind of boilerplate because you cannot use these raw references to the assets in your production code um, because of a couple of reasons the first reason is uh, if you will use these raw strings you can obviously do typo and then in that case you would have uh, different uh, code in one place and different code in other place where you would be expecting the same result and the second reason is obviously readability because uh, there are other developers other nice guys who are working on the same project so it normally make more sense when you use predefined constants uh, instead of uh, raw strings so as a workaround what we do normally instead of using these raw references uh, we create a class or we create constants uh, to these uh, assets uh, basically these are the references to the assets and instead of using uh, these, we can just reference um, the the class in which we have is, is stored the um, all the constant, and we can just uh, we can just use. Let me import first, and we can just simply use uh, any path which we want to use instead of uh, these raw string literals. That's great. Easy. But there is uh, an issue with this approach um, because you know uh, when we do uh, make application and we would have a lot of assets these are just three but normally if uh, we have an application that uh, needs to go live uh, we would have uh, like nearly hundreds of uh, assets and then uh, managing yourself like creating references uh, of all those assets yourself would be obvious, obviously so time taken and would be a lot of uh, boilerplate code to write so uh, in this video which uh, the package it's actually the plugin we are going to use that will help you to generate all those references and it will manage uh, more smartly um, than you so the thing that we are going to use as a solution is this um, package which is flutter underscore gen and it's not ex ex actually the plugin because it doesn't interact with the native code so we can say it is a package uh anyways but it solves uh, the problem for you so what you can do um you can go a little below and then you can find um this installation you have to first install it so if you are using mac os or linux you can use this however i would recommend because this would run in any um os so you can just copy this and you have to run it in the terminal so let's open the terminal because i've already installed it so i'm not sure what would happen but uh, when you would do it it would install um this package um for you and you would also be asked to set up the path so it, it would be you have to set up the environmental path uh or in case of if you are using in case you are using um macbook then in that case you would you would have to set up the path uh, um, that you can see on the terminal because I've already done it so I can I cannot see it but you have uh, you, they would provide you some instruction and you just have to follow the instructions for just uh, saving the path same you did in case of flutter uh, SDK you have to do it uh, with the um, with this package as well anyways once you will um, um, once you will done with the when the path thing then you can uh, move to the second step 
So you have to copy these two guys and you have to paste in your pubspec.yaml so that it can be used. So just go in your pubspec and in the dev dependencies you can just paste it. And then you have to just click on this pub get. This would install these um, dependencies and then you will be able to use uh, these in your project. Okay, so um, because we are not uh, uh, not going to use these uh, assets constant, so I'm just gonna remove it. So just um, use the raw strings and then remove this whole folder because now the package uh, would be uh, generating all these uh, references for us. So now before letting this package do some magic for you, um, you have to make sure a few things. Um, the first thing that you have to make sure, obviously you need to have the assets, um, obviously that you are going to use in your application. So it should be in a predefined directories. And then you also have to define these uh, assets uh, in your pub spec. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I have to define these assets. So it's in the assets folder and then we have PNG and we have another asset um, that we use for SVG. So these are two um, folders that uh, contains all the assets that we are going to use. So you have to make sure that these are uh, defined over here. And I'm also going to add some more files in the PNGs to make uh, use of uh, this package more reasonable. So I already have uh, uh, some files. Um, let me open my downloads and inside it I have a PNG folder. Okay, so these are a few of the PNGs that we can just drag and drop over here. We already have some of them. Okay, so now we have uh, more PNGs and it would make more sense to use this package. Um, it opens it automatically. Um, let me open the bubble spec. Anyways, so now we have to run a script um, to generate um, all the references. So this is the script, you can copy it. And in the terminal, uh, you can just paste it and you have to make sure since we already in the in the project directory and the pub spec is in the project inside the project directory over here so we don't have to use this example we can just remove it and uh, let's run this and you can see it generate uh, it generated some file for us which is uh, assets.gen.art uh, so let's see what it contains Okay, that's great. Um, so you can see over here we have uh, um, we have some some references. Wow, that's great. So what we can do now instead of uh, having these raw references and also to create yourself some class that contains all the references uh, constant, uh, you can use uh, this, uh, which is uh, if I can see how like we can access. So it should be. Um, okay, it should be assets. Okay, so all the PNGs are stored inside it. So you can uh, get the reference of uh, the avocado using dot path. So this is how you can do. And there's another way which you can use. So rather than using path, you can simply uh, just remove this whole thing and you can just use dot uh, um, banana, and since uh, it is already an image, I think. Yeah. Okay. So you can use dot image, and this is how you can also utilize uh, the image assets. And you can also, uh, and you can see that we also have the references for the SVGs uh, in in this. Okay, so um, if we have to access the SVG, then in that case, we can, in, instead of PNG, we can use SVGs. And then in, in, inside it, we have, uh, we have some references, calendar, and then we can use, instead of image, we can use uh, probably, um, 
Okay, probably I think it, it doesn't have uh, the property. Okay, so we, we can use it a normal SVG dot asset. And inside it, we can pass the reference. So that's great. And you can also uh, like uh, customize um, the configuration. Uh, what you can do, you can find the uh, default configuration uh, over here. And you can also use this uh, package for generating the colors for you, but I haven't used it. I use it for uh, images and audios and also for the animations. You can see the Rive option here. So if you would enable Flutter SVG True, this would uh, generate uh, the references for SVG's files too and also for the Rive. So you can also have this uh, in your pub spec. I don't think we have uh, copied this guy. Yeah. So what you can do, you can also paste it and you can based on your need, you can customize. Uh, uh, there are a lot of things to customize. You can find uh, in at the very bottom of uh, this documentation, you can find the, um, the default configuration. You can see this is the default configuration and you can see all the options that you can really customize and you can use uh, based on how you like. So uh, this is it from this video. This is, uh, as I said, it was a short video, but it's quite uh, uh, quite interesting video because, you know, uh, we spend, as I said, a lot of time in, in, in doing these uh, small things. But when you use this package, uh, you can really uh, save a lot of time. So this is it from this video. If you like the video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and share the videos with those who want to learn Flutter with easy approach. So thank you for watching.